was twelve. Twenty-five years ago, twenty-six years ago. Uh, Vizi, my wife, she just came in front of me one day. Actually, it happened where it was some program happening, somebody else's program. I went there and they asked me for lunch and I went and sat down. I came in late, they were all eating and halfway down I went and sat down, you know, on the floor, in rows they're sitting. She… I was sitting in this row, there was another row in front of me facing me and one more row facing away from me and another row facing me, she's in that row. By then she was already looking at me, beyond these two rows. I just looked at her for two minutes and then I started eating my sambar and rice. Sambar was good <laughs> Then everybody com started completing their meals before me because I came in late and I was eating late. Then she finished her meal, she washed her hands, she came and she sat in front of me and burst out crying. So I didn't look at her, I kept on eating. Then I got up, I went and washed my hands and she came behind me. And she was still crying and crying and crying. Then she wanted to talk to me. I just wrote my home number and I gave it. And I said, only if I pick up, you speak. My dad picks up, don't speak. <laughs> One day uh, when we were talking, I mean usually in the evenings, uh, once my husband used to go to the pharmacy, we used to sit on the steps and uh, discuss so many things. Uh, that particular day he told me, uh, he met one girl, her name is Viji and I, am, I, I want to get married to her. So I told her, uh, where is she, where uh, she is from, how does she look? Uh, she, he said, no, I will bring her and introduce to you and I want to inform my parents also. Uh, this is I am informing you. <clears throat> so I told her, uh, we will be very happy because we will have company, more than a friend, she will be my co-sister. So I was very excited and eager to meet her. So I, th I think after some time, uh, he brought her to the shop where we have a medical store in Kalidasa Road. So, first when I saw her, the, her simplicity and her smile somehow attracted to me. And much later, I did not even know that uh, that day it was a festival and me and Viji, we just rode up to Irpu where there's a waterfall and a small ramish for a temple. And when I went there in the evenings, I saw one of the quaintest arrangements that you can see, all green-fronted small, small shops and little, little things. This pakumaram and uh, this coconut fronds, using just that, all little, little shops just set up for the evening. So this thing just was so enchanting. And then I asked, what is this all about? Then they said, it's Mahashivaratri today. Oh, I did not even know because uh, Mahashivaratri was never celebrated in our homes for some reason. Then I… F they asked, what is this festival about? They said, this is… Uh, Shiva got married on this day. Then I told Vijay, okay, we're getting married today. He said, what? He said, yeah, I say, I said, yes, we're getting married today right here. He said, no, we have not told anybody. I said, no need to tell anybody, I'm telling you <laughs> And we just got married right there <laughs> Yeah, they were always a lovey-dovey couple, if I could use that term. They were always uh, glued to each other, uh, smiling, chatting, that sort of thing. They were, yeah, very happy couple. At that time, this is more or less how they lived. I mean, Sadhguru would spend some time in his farm, then he would spend… he would spend half the month in his farm, another half the month he would teach a class either in Hyderabad or in uh, Mangalore or Coimbatore or Tirupur or one of these towns. So, every weekend Vijay would travel to the initiation. 
from my soul. There's a place called Handi Honda. Handi Honda means pig's place. <laughs> On the west coast, there's a place called Handi Honda. So Handi Honda beach was my favorite beach. And I couldn't believe it when much, much later, after I was married, when I took Viji to the ocean, she was what, twenty-two or something and she had never seen an ocean in her life. She lived in Bangalore all her life, she had never seen ocean. And we just went and camped on the beach. This west coast is so phosphorescent, the phosphorescence in some areas is so high, it was a full moon night. And as the night gets darker and the, you know, the tides get bigger, it's like lit. It's like waves of phosphorus coming at you. She just looked at this and it just got her. Then we mostly sat through the whole night just looking at this thing and... After that she went mad about the ocean. She wanted to go to the ocean all the time. Where you want to go? She wanted to go to the ocean <laughs> She got addicted that night. <laughs> I mean, whoever knew uh, Sadhguru or Viji, they always knew them as Jaggi and Viji. You know, they were always together everywhere in everything that they did. And uh, because there were constantly people around uh, Sadhguru, and uh, their whole, you know, there was no such thing as privacy for them. So it would be all kinds of talk. When you are there, it would be all kinds of talk. And they. You know, it was almost that you didn't exist there and everything that needed to happen, needed to happen. And constantly there was, you know, so many things would come into focus, which, uh, you know, you can also say it's a part of the spiritual process, which would generally happen in a spiritual process. It has always been hard for me to explain to people about what Viji is. When I say Viji, I am not referring to her either as my wife or as a woman. Even as a being, she has always been truly wonderful in my experience. But as many of you know, she is a person of very intense emotions. In her childlikeness, she never knew what should be expressed or what should be held back in a group of people. Whatever emotions were within her always found expression irrespective of the situation. Now this Mahasamadhi the ultimate aim of all spiritual seekers. She has attained, she has attained with such effortlessness and has proved her worth. To throw this life out of this body without enduring the body, it takes something else. One has to generate tremendous amount of energy which requires intense sadhana. She knew the methods to achieve this and she was working towards this, but at this stage we never imagined that without my assistance she will be able to generate the necessary energy. Anyway, she would have trodden this path, but the swiftness with which she has achieved this is too much. She made this possible with her love, probably the only thing she knew. All her life, she was very proud that I am her husband. Today, I have to say that I am extremely proud that I happen to be her husband. And above all, this is all the intensity that you look for in every disciple around you. As a guru, this is of immense value too, because it is this level of intensity that you always look for. The 
नाचवी जी